Well, school's almost out and parents are going to be looking for ways to keep the kids occupied. Cassie Stevens has 52 ideas, one for every week of the year in her new book, Clay Lab for Kids. It's 52 projects that you can make, model and mold. Great to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. Well, we're glad to have you too. And you've made our studio so colorful. Too. I tried. I yeah, tried. I love all of the projects from this book and they're Thank also you. easy because you don't have to fire them in a kiln. Correct. Right. My students, their favorite thing to do is work with clay. And one thing that kind of keeps them from doing that is because they don't have access to a kiln. So the book is divided into three parts there. The first half is air dry clay, which mm -hmm. can be purchased at a local craft stores. Yeah. And then the sec the middle part of the book is polymer clay, which can be baked in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then the last half are recipes for them to make their own clay. Oh, what fun. And one of them is even an edible clay. Oh boy. So that's a, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> that will be fun. All right, this is the project we're going to be making today. Uh, it's kind of a bonus project from the yes. book. Um, and kids get to step on clay to make it work. Yes, I just this did this so project cute. with my kindergarten students and they really enjoyed it. So what they have is a piece of clay and they they literally put their clay on a mat on the floor and step on it, which oh, is fun. the best part. Yeah. So we're going to make that with my shoe right here, and I'm just pressing it into the clay, picking it back up, and then it leaves behind a great oh, texture yeah, of the does. shoe, which they had a lot of fun just comparing their textures of their shoe. Yeah, and then so that makes the turtle shell. Yeah, that's the turtle Cute. shell. You flip the turtle shell over, and when a traditional clay artist is working with clay, they do something called slip and scoring, which means they scratch into the clay, mm -hmm. add a little bit of water or watery clay, and that's how they attach. That's the glue that holds it okay. together. That's complicated for kids. Sure. So one method in the book is for them to use an old toothbrush, preferably not mom or dad's. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and just to get that wet, and this scratches into the clay while creating something called slip, which yeah. is that watery clay. Mm -hmm. And then once that's done, that acts as the glue. Then they're to take clay and roll something called coils. So that's when you just roll it up. And it's a clay snake. Yeah, this essentially. Is the fun part. Yeah, it's getting all nice and messy. Yeah. And then after they have three of those, those are then just kind of placed like a diagonal line, smoosh it into the clay, then create an X for another one. Yeah. And then the last one goes right across this way. Oh, and that's head and tail. You got it. So then when they flip it over, they've got the start of a, a turtle. That so it looks a little bit cute. like that. Yeah. yeah. And then you're, um, we use a lot of skewer sticks mm -hmm. that we can create designs like the eyes and then maybe go horizontally and then you've got a mouth. Oh, that's so, so easy. So it's a really fun, yeah. simple, quick project and it's great for kids to see that clay is something that captures texture, yeah. which is one of the coolest things about it. That's so, great. So yeah. this is a project that would work for four or five year olds probably. Oh yeah, I did up. like I said, my kindergarten yeah. kids, but then the fascination of just stepping on the clay, my second graders did as well and they had a great time. That's so. cool. Yeah. All right, so this doesn't need to be baked or uh, it just air dries? Correct. Okay. This is an air dry clay. It usually takes a couple of days, especially, you know, humidity in Tennessee. You might want to put a fan on it because yeah. it might take a little bit longer. And this I want to show you this clay, too, just so you know when you're looking in the craft store for mm -hmm. it. Um, it's plus clay. It's made by Activa, and it's a great clay. But you know what? There are so many different kinds of air dry clays at the mm -hmm. craft stores that really I've used just about all of them in the book so I could test them out and all of them work great for the projects. Tell us about this cool mask. I love so that. So this is another kind of clay. I try to, like I said, explore as many as possible that I could find in the craft stores. It's made from a mask base and then different parts could be added with poster board like the ears for the fox. Mm -hmm. The kind of clay that was used is one that almost feels like paper pulp and water oh, yeah. was added mm -hmm. and it's almost like a paper mache. Yeah. And then it was placed over the mask and allowed to dry. I have found that putting things in front of a fan really helps to speed up the drying process. That's great. Well, so many good ideas in this book. It'll keep you busy all summer long. And our little finished guy when you paint it yes. is just the cutest. With watercolor paint. Thank you so much. Of course. All right, we want to say hi to everybody over at Johnson Elementary in Franklin yes. too. Um, Hello, boys and girls. Because that's where she teaches art. My kindergarten through fourth grade kids, all 400 of them and the cool. wonderful staff that I work with. That's so. great. All right, well, the book is called Clay Lab for Kids and it comes out June 1st.